All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, I'm going to first rewrite x to the power of 4 here as x to the power of 2 times 2. So now I have x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, I can write as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Minus 25, I can write as phi to the power of 2. So this is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, this can equal x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5, which is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 5 equals 0, all I have to do is simply subtract 5 on both sides. These two cancel out, and I'll be left with x squared is equal to negative 5. Now, I'll take the square root on both sides. So I have the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 5. And the square root of x squared is x. The square root of negative 5 I can write as the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And it's going to be positive or negative square root of 5. And if you guys already didn't know, the square root of negative 1, this is actually equal to i. So now I have x is equal to positive or negative square root of 5i. So these are two solutions. Now for here, I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. I'm going to add 5 on both sides. Now I have x squared is equal to 5. Now if I take the square root on both sides, the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 5 this is the same thing as square root of positive or negative square root of 5. So these are two solutions. So these are my four solutions to this problem. All right, so I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So to solve this problem, first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, or also equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So in this case, I have 2 to the power of 2x, and I'm going to rewrite that as 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now, if I divide both sides by 2 to the power of x, I get x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of x, because 2x squared divided by 2 to the power of x is just 2 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of, or sorry, over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So x to the power of x over 2 to the power of x, that's going to be equal to x over 2 to the power of x, which is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Now x and 1 over x cancel out on both sides. So now I'm going to be left with x over 2 is equal to 2. Now to solve this, all I have to do is simply multiply both sides by 2. And I'll be left with x is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4. Now, I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x. So what I'm going to do this time is take the log on both sides. So I have log x to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2x. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front. So this would equal b times log a. So x to the power, log of x to the power of x, I can move x to the front, and log 2 to the power of 2x, move 2x to the front. So now I have x times log x is equal to 2x times log 2. Oh, sorry, and I'm actually going to move this back up. We didn't need to move that. So I have x times log x is equal to x times log 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 
Now, if I divide both sides by x, these two cancel out, and I'll be left with log x is equal to log 4. And if these two log cancels out, I get x is equal to 4. So that is my second method. All right, so in this problem, I have 8 to the power of x plus 9 is equal to 9 to the power of x plus 8. So I'm going to first rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x plus 9 is equal to 9 and rewrite as 3 to the power of 2. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x plus 8. Now, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x plus 27. I simply multiplied 3 with x plus 9. Is equal, I'm going to do the same thing with 2 and x plus 8, so 2x plus 16. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I have log 2 to the power of 3x plus 27 is equal to log 3 to the power of 2x plus 16. Now, I can go ahead and move this to the front. Same with this one. So I get 3x plus 27 times log 2 is equal to 2x plus 16 times log 3. So now if I distribute, I get 3x times log 2 plus 27 times log 2 is equal to 2x times log 3 plus 16 times log 3. Now I'm going to move this over here and this over here. So now I have 3x times log 2 minus 2x times log 3 is equal to 16 log 3 minus 27 log 2. Now if I factor out x from here, I get x times 3 log 2 minus 2 log 3 is equal to 16 times log 3 minus 27 log 2. Now all I have to do is divide this on both sides. These two cancel out. And I have x is equal to 16 log 3 minus 27 log 2 all over 3 log 2 minus 2 log 3. So now this simplifies to x is equal to 16 times 0 0.4771 minus 27 times 0 0.301 over 3 times 0 0.301 minus 2 times 0 0.4771. And I'm not going to waste your time simplifying this, but the answer for x ends up being 9.6367. So this is my answer.